Find terminal equivalent from terminals A and B. So to find the terminal equivalent, we basically need to find the R of terminal and the V of terminal. This is terminal A and B. So basically, we want to find the equivalent of the, the whole circuit that is seen from point A and B. So we just model the whole circuit by voltage and a resistor. Okay, so let's start with finding the R of Thevenin. So, as you know, the first step to find R of Thevenin is to, to find the the first step would be to zero all the all independent sources. Okay. So when you do that, um, if you're only left with some resistors, hopefully you can just do it finding the R equivalent or R equivalent by just looking at the series and not the parallel resistors. But then if you are left with dependent sources, that's a different story. If you have dependent sources, again, you have to put the V of S, I of S, and then divide that. I will cover that in um, some other videos. But um, if you don't have any dependent source, then hopefully um, I mean, you can just do it by just looking at Circuit resistors and finding them um, resistant equal to one resistance by just um, looking at the series and parallel uh, resistors. Okay, but the, the first important step is to zero all independent sources. Remember, this is only independent sources. Okay, so here we have two independent sources. Let me zero them, and by zeroing a voltage source means that I just short circuit it. And zero and then current source means that I, I have an open circuit. So this is what happens. I have this five oh. And then I have this twenty-five oh. And then I shorten this cancel circuit. That's like what the source, so I short this. And then yeah, I have 10 oh. 16. Then this terminal, I, I opened it. So, okay. And this is my terminal. A and B. Okay. So again, as you see, this is open now here. Yeah. And this is short. Yeah, we need to find the R of Thevenin. Okay, so by a um, closer look here, we see that this 5 and 25 they are in series and then this 30 O. But then this 30 O is in uh, basically short circuited by a, a wire. So that's short circuited, so therefore effectively. We can just uh, we remove the whole this part. Okay, so because again this is short circuited, and then we have the twenty and then ten. So this is twenty now, and we can ten then series because we don't we don't have this path anymore. 20 plus 10, 30. So we have 30 off. And then the 30 is in parallel with the 60. And then A and B, remember, I want to do kind of A and B. Now, this 30 and 60, they are in parallel. So 30 off in parallel with 60. 30 times 60 divided by 30 plus 60, uh, which is 90. So 30 times 60 divided by 
So that is our R seven. So R seven is equal to twenty. Now the next step is to find the reactor value. So to find the find the reactor value, uh, remember you need to look at the voltage of open circuit. Open circuit. Okay, I look at terminal A and B, basically open it. Um, and then um, <clears throat> I need to find the this one. Okay. Uh, open this and then I need, this is basically the other one. So I need to find this. Okay, we might do different methods. Uh, there's not just one way of solving a circuit. But by looking at this, let's uh, first of all, um, I will go node analysis, okay? So I just, this is an essential node I think as a reference. Then this one, I, I know the voltage, nine volts, okay? And then this is another essential node, I V1. And this is V2. And I need to basically um, find this voltage, which is the voltage across this sixty off. Okay. So let me um, write the KCL here. Mm -hmm. Here also that's the class to the circuit. So let's write uh, KCL uh, V. So V1 minus 9 divided by 20. V1 minus 9 divided by 20. That was that current. Then this current is negative. 1.8 and the current going down. Okay, so for current going down, we have V1 here, but then I don't know the voltage here, but if we continue, this is ground, this is zero, this is equal to zero. So to see it better, so V1 basically sees two resistors in series up to it reaches V equal to zero. And because it's open circuit, because basically there's no current here. There's no current here, there's no current here. So therefore they are exactly bound in six. Okay. So therefore V1 minus zero divided by the resistor, which is 70. V1 minus zero. Divided by that is 60 plus 10. So then you remember what happened there. And that's it. So we have three branches, three equations, 35 points. Yeah. So I have one equation, and the uh, only variable is V1. We can uh, solve it. So let me do the common denominator, 17, 20, one. Okay. Seven times one minus nine, and then three, D one. I take the one point eight the other side, I take one point eight. So therefore we have nine zero. Nine 
as we found our slide, sets the three writer, one part in times, one part eight, which is two hundred and fifty-two. Now we want to two to fifty-two plus sixty-three, which is three fifteen. We want this. 15 divided by 9, which is 35. Okay, so we found V1 here to be 35. But is that V of Thevenin? V of Thevenin is the voltage across this 60 ohm. Let me clear this a little bit here. Yeah, so I want V of Thevenin or V of open circuit, which is just from here to here, terminal A and B, as you see, it's this voltage basically. Um, but if you look at here, I have the voltage from here to here, and these two resistors are in series, so it seems to be like a voltage division. Yeah, so let me just plug, plug this one here. So you had this 60 ohm here, and then you had this 10 ohm, and here is ground, and this is 35 ohm. And I would like to know this voltage. Yeah, okay, so, okay. so I'm hoping that everybody somehow sees that, that the, you can assume, for example, this is a voltage source of 35 volt here. And just, just you can assume. Or you don't have to even think of like that, but say, okay, the whole voltage across from here to here is 35 volt. How much of that is here? How much of that is here is the voltage division. So therefore, we are or C is um sorry. V of or C is 60 divided by 60 plus 10 times 10. So here, we're using the voltage bridge. So this 70 is 35, that's two. So six is divided by two. And that's more the other. Perfect. So we find V of Thevenin and we have found the R of Thevenin. So the equivalent, the Thevenin equivalent is R of Thevenin, which is 20 of, V of Thevenin, which is 30 volt. I don't know why my pen is doing this today, but that's it. But this is the Thevenin echo. 